Hi Gemini, welcome to the channel, welcome back. I hope everybody is doing fabulous. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment, just a few things before we get started. Um, this is a general reading, may not resonate with everybody out there, so take what resonates. Uh, also, if it does resonate, there will be an extended reading link in the description box. I will look at the next three months energy going forward from this reading and I treat it like a personal reading. Also below in the description box, how to enter my free personal reading giveaway. I do give away personal readings uh, each month, so check it out if you like. And with that, let's get started here with your reading. I'm gonna start with these love oracles. We're gonna see what the energy is here for you, Gemini. Please show me what Gemini needs to know. Please show me what Gemini needs to know. Okay, your first card out, you've got twin flames here. That's yin yang energy, can be about union, couples and complementing each other. We have the hand of cards, okay, taking a chance, taking a risk. Could be options, right? Someone not showing their hand. So you could be dealing with a twin flame. Someone not really showing how, uh, how much they care about you. Let's see what else. Okay, yeah, separation. So it feels like there's separation here. Someone's missing you, thinking about you. Unsure what the future holds between the two of you. Now take the roles, how they resonate with you. Okay, and we have heartbroken. Okay, so deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling loss. Okay, so I feel like somebody here is feeling sad that the two of you are in separation. Let's get one more, one more for Gemini. Please show Gemini what they need to know. Okay, yeah. So this is ending, this is the coffin card, but it's endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, and transition here. So I feel like there could be an ending here between you and someone. Does feel like a twin flame connection? It does feel like this person is having regrets, is sad here about what has happened. Uh, also a feeling here of feeling lost. Let's see what else the energy shows here for you, Gemini. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune. So something's changing here. You know, we talked about endings bring new beginnings. Let's see what else. Okay, Two of Swords. Let's pull another card here. Full card. Okay. So, you know, I get here. Sometimes the full card for me is, is single energy, right? Um, not sure, right, if you're ready to move forward, be single after what has happened with someone here. So I almost feel like you have not made a definite decision that you are completely done with somebody here. But I also see here, you know, an energy of maybe taking that risk, that leap of faith. Now you do have the three of pentacles here. Okay, can be an indication that this person, like I said, misses you and that there's enough, enough love here. But I also feel like this person hasn't made any decisions yet, all right, around this connection, this relationship. So let's see what else comes out before I see any more. What else can you share with Gemini? Okay, we got justice. And judgment okay yeah so I feel like someone's I feel here actually making a decision to come towards you to do the right thing here with the justice card um, thinking about second chances we're going to clarify, we're going to see, right, if that's the case. But it feels like this is someone maybe who's held back from making a decision. But right above the two of swords, you have take a chance, risk, being strategic. But this could be someone who struggles finding that balance between their head and their heart. Could be dealing, um, but this could be you as well. So we're going to clarify these cards and see, narrow down the energies, but... Could be dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, a Libra. I got Libra here too, or a Gemini. 
another Gemini. So let's keep going. What else can you share with Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know? Okay, yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Page of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. That's what's happening here. This part, well, you know, some of you, this could be new love too. Interesting, let's see what else. Okay, let's see here. The Death Rebirth card here, Scorpio Energy. So some of you, I feel, could be indecisive, uh, whether you would give somebody a second chance or you whether you want to pursue new love. But we'll see. That could be this person reaching out to you as well. Uh, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Time, focus, pay, uh, you know, putting in the work. Let's see what else. Six of Pentacles. Justice with justice. So I feel like um, there's somebody coming towards you. Not too sure yet if this is new love. Um, there could be someone flirting with you or this could be um, this person here wanting a second chance. Let's see what else. We'll clarify that page of cups. And you have the four of swords. Okay. So this person, somebody here I feel could be your twin flame. Look at that. Look at you have on the bottom of the deck. You have the Ace of Cups and you have the Star. So Gemini, some of you, this could be an opportunity, a new love coming into your life. And some of you, this is someone wanting a second chance. I won't know where the energy really is until I start clarifying. So we're going to do that. But I do see that somebody here has regrets. Um, with the three of pentacles so it does feel like somebody here wants to work on this connection uh, got aquarius energy the ace of cups ace of cups is my yes card my wish card and with the star card okay so if some of you have been wanting to reconcile with someone i feel like uh there's a good opportunity here okay i'm gonna say like an 80 90 percent chance so let's clarify um, some of these cards. Let's start with that Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here, please? Why is the Two of Swords here, please? Okay, we got the Five of Wands. We got the Ten of Swords. Okay, so things may have ended between you and someone because of some sort of drama, somebody infringing upon this connection or relationship, some outside interference here is what I'm getting. So I feel like things are at a standstill between you and this person right now. So whether it's you making decisions or this person making decisions, it feels like um, there could have been somebody or um, other people who got in the way of this connection is what I'm getting. And it doesn't have to be other lovers. It can just be friends, family. Anybody could have infringed upon this connection or relationship. Let's go to um, the full card. Why is the full card here, please? Okay, yeah. Somebody has regrets here with that five of cups, seven of cups. Seven of Pentacles. Well, it's almost like um, the person you're dealing, you know, that you're dealing with here um, was someone who didn't take responsibility, I feel, in the past for what happened, but they regret that now. They regret that and now they're in their emotions. There's a lot of sadness here. This could be you too. Sadness here. Uh, Seven of Pentacles because it does feel like there was a lot invested here emotionally between you and this person. So it feels like two with the full card. You know, you could have felt like this person took you for granted. Why is justice here, please? Why is justice here? You have uh, the King of Wands, could be dealing with a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I'm seeing. We have the Nine of Swords. Okay, we also have the Magician. And interesting, because we have Six of Pentacles there, and we also have Six of Pentacles here. So this is someone I feel... Um, 
they really have this heavy on their conscience is what I see here with this Nine of Swords, King of Wands, and the Magician. So whatever happened with this person, I feel like um, they kind of really got themselves in some sort of mess, okay? A mess here. And they regret whatever this mess is, is what I'm getting, okay? I feel like this person wants to make things right, but they're, they're trying to figure out how they're going to do that. Now, you do have uh, the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So what I feel here, because here's that Page of Cups, I'm really feeling like this isn't new love. But I feel like this is someone who um, I feel like they want to reach out to you. They may even want to apologize. There may be something here, too, that they're needing to confess to you. Um, their energy here too in the past feels like they could have been a little bit manipulative, um, but I feel what they're going to do is they're going to reach out to you, okay? They're going to see how you respond, and that leads us to judgment. Let's see why judgment is here. Why is judgment here, please? Why is judgment here, please? We have page of wands. Yeah, there's that communication again. We have, there's that Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to reach out. They want a second chance here. Seven of Wands. Okay, Six of Cups. They want to fight for this. They want a new beginning. So I feel like you're going to get some communication here from this person. This is someone I feel... Um, They want to fight for this. They're optimistic that the two of you have had some good memories in the past, time invested here. And so they're hopeful, I feel, right? Optimistic um, that you may be willing to give this a second chance. You've got the Empress here and you have the Strength card. We've got Strong Leo and Libra. So I feel like this person, they're gaining the courage here to come towards you let's see may even um you know they may even feel like you need to forgive them um for things to start again like i said definitely for some i feel like there could be an apology let's see why the page of cups is here please why is the page of cups here please why is the page of cups here please all right we got the eight of pentacles yeah ten of pentacles and the full card well yeah so they want to build they want to rebuild the trust with you they want to rebuild the foundation whatever was broken here you got the full card look at that the eight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles so this person is coming towards you i feel really trying to build something more stable with you around trust and I feel like this person wants to focus on that, okay? Potentially with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm not going to say it's going to be everybody, um, but this is someone it does feel like they want to work towards a loving, stable relationship here with you, okay? So let's go. Um, like I said, I feel like there's an energy here of this person wanting to be accountable and right above that is the separation missing you unsure of the future here right well you know that's why they're coming towards you taking that risk that leap of faith or unsure here how you're going to respond let's go to this um got scorpio energy there let's go to this eight of pentacles why is the eight of pentacles here we got yeah the empress again Two of Swords, Page of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck here, you have the wheel, okay? Well, I feel like this person, they want to work on things here. They're taking, they're making the decision here. Like I said, they've been indecisive here. Right, and they may be feeling too like you're indecisive here, right, about what you want to do here with the Empress. But this is someone and making this decision to come towards you. They may be spying on you, trying to figure out what you're doing, very curious what you're up to. That may be why this person has held back a bit. 
feel like too this could be someone who owns their own business okay um, and they may have held back a bit too because they may be someone who works a lot um, is what I'm getting or their focus may have been on work but I sense here that this person is making the decision to come towards you. Look at that. You got the wheel and you got the nine of pentacles. Now, you do have the devil card here as well um, and the queen of pentacles. Okay, so there's something here about repeating past patterns. So this could be someone, um, you know, with the devil energy there. This could be someone, they could be controlling they, they could have some sort of addiction. Um, this could be someone who's codependent. They're very attracted to you, don't want to let you go. Um, but I would say be cautious with this person about repeating patterns, especially in a twin flame connection. Because sometimes, right, that's something that continues to happen in twin flame connections, is someone repeats the same behavior, hasn't changed. However, I do see transformation here with the death rebirth card. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Okay, we've got the Ace of Cups. They want to rekindle this connection. Seven of Swords. The Wheel. Let's get one more. King of Pentacles. Okay. Well, it does feel like with the Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords, the Wheel, and the King of Pentacles... It may be that this person, you know, is really um, kind of looking at things differently now. The Emperor. This could be somebody who was ready before for something more than in the past. Let's see what they've thought about here. And then we're going to get some more cards. Um, see what else you need to know. Why is the Four of Swords here, please? Why is the Four of Swords here, please? Okay, we got the Sun card. Uh, six of Wands, Eight of Swords, Page of Cups, okay, and the Devil. Well, I really feel like this is someone um, who is struggling, okay? They may be obsessively thinking about you, how um, they could, you know, reconcile here. Got Sagittarius energy there. And you got the, the um, Ace of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel like this person is really trying to figure out how to have a new beginning here because I do feel like they know their responsibility is on them. I feel like this person has regrets. I feel like their feelings have even gotten stronger. You've got the Sun, Leo, Andre, Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, they. while the two of you have been in separation, I feel this person has really been in their head about this. Because they know that there is potential here with you. I feel like they love your energy. And I feel like um, this is someone here who they've been trying to figure out how to apologize or how to make things right or how to communicate to you. So I feel like there's going to be an upcoming message from this person. Um, some of you could be an apology. They want to rekindle this here, right? Remember I said here there's hope. And you got the Ace of Cups here as well. So let's see what the oh, what else uh, you need to know, Gemini. The only caution is, is that there could be something that this person does that, you know, you, you need to watch their behavior or repeating pattern with this person. Okay, so let's see. What else does Gemini need to know? Okay, three of pentacles. They want to work on this. They're hoping you're going to be receptive. Nine of pentacles. Seven of cups. Three of cups. Okay, queen of cups here. Okay, there's two queens here. And it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. The only thing that I get here, uh, Gemini, if 
this ended because somebody else infringed upon this connection or relationship. I feel like that may be the worry here, right? Are you making the right choice? And I'm just going to say it doesn't have to be another lover. It can be, right, a love interest. But it also can be, right, a sister, a friend, um, you know, definitely picking up female energy here. So that's the only thing I feel, uh, Gemini, is you have to decide is this going to be a healthy choice for you based on your situation because it will be different for everybody. But I'm going to go forward now to the extended. We will look at what your person's thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, their intentions. We'll get love notes and guidance um, and... Um, We'll take it to the extended for the next three months energy. So I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.